Indian government has brought Manipur under protection of Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation 1873 with the instant repeat I have been forced in Manipur Indian government uh, has brought in Manipur under the protection of Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation 1873 with the issuance of a gazette notification of the adaptation of laws amendment order 2019 today Manipur Chief Minister N. Birend holding the gazette notification announced that the inner line permit system ILPS has been enforced in Manipur under BEFR from today to protect the indigenous people of the state while announcing the notification during a press conference he held it let's continue on page number five anti-cab strike withdrawn the talking points organizations on Wednesday called off its indefinite strike following an assurance of having a meeting with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah night curfew clamped in Guwahati city Guwahati 11 December a curfew has been clamped in Guwahati city from 6 to 6 15 p.m. on Wednesday to 7 a.m. on Thursday as the situation turned for the wars in the city in view of the raging protest against the citizenship amendment bill cab a police source informed that the situation is volatile in GS Road, RG Barra Road, Ganeshgi and Dispur areas of the city some incidents of arson have been reported from some areas of the city where police and paramilitary force personnel have been deployed heavily Assam government has imposed 24 hours a temporary ban on the mobile internet service and the data service of all mobile service providers with effect from 7 p.m. on Wednesday to 7 p.m. on Thursday in 10 of the districts Lakimpur, Demaji, Tinchukia, Dibrugar, Shivshagar, Charaidel, Jorhat, Golagat, Kamrup, the Metropolitan and Kamrup. The ban has been imposed in view of the raging protests against the Citizenship Amendment Bill that is cap in Brahmaputra Valley districts in Assam that is posing a threat to overall law and order situation in the state. Gujarat right, clinchy to Melty. BJP says historic. New Delhi, 11 December, PTI. The BJP on Wednesday reacted with, with joy as the Parliament gave a note to the Citizenship Amendment Bill with its top leaders hailing the proposed law as historic legislation that has made the dreams of crowds of, dep of deprived and uh, victimized people come true. Party President Amit Shah, who as Home Minister successfully piloted the bill in both Houses of Parliament, tweeted soon after the Rajya Sheva passed the bill. Grateful to Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his resolve to ensure dignity and safety for these affected people. I thank everyone for their support. As the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 passes in the Parliament, the dreams of crows of deprived and victimized people has come to to die. He added, BJP Working President J.P. Nadda called it a historic legislation which will do justice to the minorities of the neighboring countries who face religious persecution. CIB enacts now 125 votes in favor, 105 AR deployed violence in different parts of state. Lati charge on rally, Congress ban today. In its report, Agatala, 11 December, at a time when people of the state uh, continue to reel under the evil effects of indefinite anti cab band, the Pradeshiyat Congress added to suffering the people by calling a 24 hours Tripura band on Thursday to protest police assault on senior party leaders during a rally. The chairman of the Ad hoc committee of the Pradesh Congress, Pijush Kanti Bishwa, said that. Yard Congress has called the bond on Thursday to protest against the attitude of state government for carving the democratic rights of opposition party and unprovoked police assault on Congress supporters, including senior party leaders and bystanders. 
On Wednesday, the activists of British Congress, the Yacht Congress, and supporters of uh, Mahila Congress organized a protest rally against the Citizenship Amendment Bill CAP, uh, which was started from Congress Vavan and within a few Meanings the rally returned back to Congress after covering uh, Kab and Chema on the area. When the rally arrived at the Congress Vavan, a large number of police forces resorted to lottery charge on Congress supporters. As a result, a few Congress workers, including senior leaders, Pishush County Biswas, Bapti Chakrabati, few bystanders, and a police officer, Ashutosh Sharma, as they sustained bond injuries, and including three more police personnel. And speaking with the media persons, Youth Congress President Bijan Biswas said that they are left with no other alternative but to call the bond because a state administration has curtailed their democratic rights and launched up and up and provoked and indiscriminate latter charge in which seven congressmen, including chairman of PCC's ad hoc committee, Bijush Biswas, and senior leader Bhaptu Chakrabati sustained injuries. Bhaptu Chakrabati was hit on his head and was shifted to GB Hospital. During the latter charge, two media persons of cable news channels were also injured. Protesting the indiscriminate and unprovoked latter charge by police, later Congress workers banned the effigies of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Union of Minister Amit Shah in front of Congress Bhavan at post office ceremony, and spreading scare among people. Immediately, firefighters rushed to the spot and doused the fire. But the Congress workers had to continue their agitation for one hour after the lottery charge. PCC ad hoc committee chairman Pijush Biswas reiterated that they had no other alternative but to lodge their protest by calling band on Thursday. The BJP led the state government totally suppressed all democratic rights of minor opposition parties. Even they were denied to organize peaceful meetings. He said that he personally requested the police to allow 10 to 15 minutes peaceful agitation in front of the Congress Vavan. But police started the latter charge without any provocation. Myself and Bhaptu Chakrabarti sustained injuries besides two media persons. He appeals to people of the state to support Band. 2,202 appointed. CM reveals 8,614 more job prospect. Government opposes Band office to remain open. Even as the state government had adopted a soft stand on the JMACAB sponsored indefinite strike, the state administration has taken a tough look at the Congress called 24 hours keeper bound to be absorbed in the state on Thursday. In a press release, the government on Wednesday made it clear that the government offices and government run public sector undertakings will remain open. Isso, 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 isso,